Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Um, so we're carrying on with our, our ink projects and this is going to be slightly longer um, as a project and also a combination of what we've been um, working on so far. So it's going to combine um, wash work, so working with a brush, with uh, pen work. And this week we're going to be primarily doing wash work. I don't think we'll be doing any pen work. <clears throat> but we're going to be establishing um, this flower uh, so I'm working for the, the reference that's up on screen now, which is just a photo of a lily that I, um, I took myself as a as a reference for this class. So you can download the, the image below if you want to work from the same one, or you can find your own flower reference to work from, or work from life ideally. In terms of materials, I'll go really quickly through them and we can get started. So I've just got some watercolor paper. Um, I've got a graphite pencil that I'll be starting with. You can use an eraser if you need, though you probably won't need one. Um, I've then got just a bit of Winsor Newton uh, Indian ink, a little water pot. Um, I've got part of a watercolor palette that I'll be using just to kind of wash my, my paint or my ink out on. You can use pretty much any kind of shallow surface, like a plate, like an old plate or something. And finally, just a this brush. I think this is the only brush I'll be using. Um, we'll see if we need any others, but I think this will be sufficient for today. We're just going to be doing some sort of washy passes after we've completed the drawing as our sort of preparation for doing a bit, bit of pen work over the top next week. So we're going to begin just by sketching out the flower. So as always, we want to just give ourselves a sense of where it's going to go. That's a, that's a bit too central. I've realized that if I want the, the sort of leaves or the, this petal to sit on this side, this leaf to sit on the other, I'm going to have to move the, the stem across quite a bit. So, got that as our stem going up. Turning back in. So I'm not going to put all the details in, but I want to just get enough to have a reasonable idea of where I'm going to be going with my ink washes. So just all the major petal shapes. Approximately placed. So just about there with these general petal shapes. I'm going to be doing some pretty loose washes and then we're going to be gradually building tone up anyway. You can see I'm not being too precious with uh, how accurate I am. I'm trying to work it, all this stuff fairly loosely. So 
So I think that's not too bad roughly for the, the shape of the flower, I'm not being super accurate. So the next thing I want to do is just start washing in. Actually, one last thing I'll do. I say that's the end of the flower, but I'm just going to make a note of where we want to keep quite bright white. Um, like sections of the petal a lot brighter. Just a little note of that stuff. Um, I'm going to begin from the bottom anyway, so I'm going to take a little bit of um, ink and quite a bit of water and just start washing this stuff in. So you can see I'm mostly just doing a very fine wash here. Um, pretty much just water that I'm putting on it at this stage. Just a tiny bit of diluted ink. The ink's very strong, so you're not going to need loads of it. And we're going to build it up both with um, pencil but also um oh, not pencil sorry the, the quill pen um later but also with some more brush brushed passes as well
So working this way allows quite a lot of control. I'm able to build up all my shapes pretty quickly because the brush sort of allows quite large coverage, faster than if we were working with a pen or, or even working in just pencil. Um, and particularly once we start to kind of be a bit more sure about placements of things, because one of the reasons I'm not sort of going all in with loads of detail at this stage is we're not entirely sure yet exactly where all the shadows are going to go. So I've got a fairly kind of little faded version of this, this flower in place now. So the next thing I want to do is just figure out where we've got our kind of definite shadows. And we're just going to outline those to begin with, where things kind of merge maybe a little bit and so on.
So I'm just still using this darker tone just to kind of outline a little bit, kind of give a bit more definition um, to the outside of the flower and the leaves. Um, that's about that's about what we'll be doing today. Um, it should be enough to keep you guys occupied. So just that kind of initial wash, and you can actually split it into multiple stages. There's nothing because this is ink and it just kind of immediately dries. Um, it doesn't really make a difference if you do it really gradually or if you do it all at once like I am today. So definitely if like you're finding it tricky, just um, take some breaks. So I'm just going to do the same thing up in these petals. So still just outlining here. I'm trying to play, pay very close attention just to the shapes of all the individual leaves. Um, and we're just going to keep going until this is outlined and then um, that's going to be our stopping point for this week and then next week. Pick up a little bit more ink. Next week we'll be uh, Carrying on with some more detailed painting, possibly a little bit of pen work, um, but not necessarily. Let's just see how, how things progress.
just going to do a tiny little suggestion of the kind of outside of the lighter portions of the leaves. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good stopping point. That's basically a single pass over the. Um, well, we've got a pencil sketch in, um, then just a single wash to kind of start to establish um, the shadows, and then a kind of a finer go over that with um, put that brush, just the point of the brush, a little bit more to get a bit more detail into it. Um, but yeah, that's a really good starting point. So if you can do something like that, either with my reference or one of your own references, that, that would be ideal. Um, and then, as I say, next week, we'll just be starting to develop this a little bit more with, um, with the brush. Um, and then probably the, the week after that, we'll be going in doing some, doing some, um, some pen work as well, just to refine everything even further, a little bit of hatching and so on. Um, but yeah, um, it's going, going well so far. Hopefully yours turns out equally good. Um, and as always, you can subscribe to our channel uh, here on YouTube to watch this and lots of other videos. If you want to watch the previous ink videos, you can watch them here as well. Um, and if you click the link through, you can see um, the recreation courses that we provide um, for you guys to, to get to work on and to, to receive feedback from myself and other tutors. But yeah, that's it. Um, that's it for now. And I'll see you guys with this piece next week.